So hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Beat NX, and I hope you all are doing really well. Till now, we have seen a lot of Chat GPT videos where we have seen various different experiments. But today, I'm going to tell you seven mistakes that a Chat GPT user makes, and he doesn't get the required results. So without wasting time, let's deep dive into the video. But before starting the video, I just want you to know that if you are interested in AI tools, we have an AI tools workshop that is just available for nine rupees. The link is in the description, and further details are ahead in the video. And let's continue the video. Nine rupees, nine rupees cannot even buy you a packet of chips. But what if I tell you nine rupees can save your job? What if I tell you nine rupees can get you salary hike? What if I tell you nine rupees can build your career in better way? Sounds too good to be true, right? Number one mistake that ChatGPT users do is that is mixing topics in a single chat session because ChatGPT references the rest of your chat session. Changing topics can pollute results downstream. So start fresh each time if you have a new topic or if you want to create a new chat about something else to discuss from it. The number two mistake is that not being specific enough about your output goals. ChatGPT has been trained to prefer a certain outputs, and often people get generic answer as their promises are not specific enough. For example, if you don't want the usual preamble and instead want to get directly into a response, try asking ChatGPT to remove pretext or context, or only return certain results. This will dramatically focus ChatGPT and get you the responses you want for yourself. And before moving ahead on the third mistake, I just want to have a small talk with you. Nowadays, you all might know AI has taken over the world in just a short span of time, and millions of people have lost their jobs, and a lot of people have been laid off and what not. And I believe that you don't want to get affected by this recession wave, right? Well, I can assure you that an AI won't replace you, but the person using AI will surely. So, if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our three-hour AI tools workshop, in which we'll teach you about the best AI tools. to upskill yourself increase your productivity and also enhance your career make your future secure with us join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now and let's continue to the mistake number 3 number 3 mistake is not giving examples of what you want did you know that you can give chat gpt full examples of the kind of output that you are looking for most of the people don't actually realize this for example you can pull in some sample text from your own blog or writing or the kind of output that you would expect would you prompt carefully to have it replicate the aspects of the example that you like and you can even ask about gpt to replicate other people blogs and style to get exactly what you want please do that whenever you are trying to like uh, get the same blog writing from every output of chat gpt number fourth mistake is asking a language model to do maths Now ChatGPT is great for explaining or getting you written your mails but it's a language model and it is not 100% correct if you give it a math problem the answer will sound convincing but sometimes only the part of that answer are correct the math might actually be wrong and if you are looking for a specifically math trained algorithm you may want to check out wolf from alpha instead that is more better than ChatGPT and the number 5 mistake is and number 5 mistake is that not asking to reduce the output not asking chat gpt to reduce his output chat gpt might give you away too much information or that information may be too much waffle did you know that you can actually ask it to help you with the most people don't end up editing the text themselves which takes a heck lot of time and efforts you can ask chat gpt to reduce remove compile or rewrite any responses that it sends you for example you could say make this more concise or more readable or paraphrase it or even change it into a different language chat gpt can do all that from the command prompt Number 6 mistakes is asking chat gpt to do only one single thing now single commands are the main cause of bad prompt engineering and poor results they are quick but chat gpt work best when it gets as much as information possible from you if i'm trying to engineer a new prompt i might try out a bunch of shorter commands in the terminal but then bring them all together in a new chat and that usually produces the best results so reduce the single line commands and try and compile as much as together as possible because remember chat gpt is trying to extract information based on your prompt and it will collect all the data based on that single line or the those two three line of prompts that you have given to it so number 7 mistake is not improving your prompts so while you use your prompts your first result might be good but usually you can tweak that prompt to make it much better if the responses you get isn't exactly what you want what you need you need to keep experimenting and iterating most people give way too soon and never try and deep dive into the engineering prompt that means that they miss out on getting the best response possible so keep on going and going and keep trying 
and the bonus mistake that i didn't mention in the starting is that people are not using persona it's crazy how few people actually engineer their prompt around a persona now let me explain this in detail rather than just instructing chat gpt you will better you will get better results by asking it to behave like a specific persona for example you might say i want you to act like an interviewer i want you to write a story in this style of gk ruling if you start your prompt with a persona chat gpt will have a more understanding of what you expect from the output and by simulating something it allows chat gpt to give you the best response possible and one more bonus mistakes for you if we are talking about the mistakes that is not using the correct structures to avoid while writing a huge paragraph it's better than a single command structuring your prompt using a template it will give you the best results possible try to structure things so that you have a basic outline i tend to use something like start off with a persona then laying out the task then asking for the steps to be completed then adding any context or constraint for chat gpt before finally asking for my goal in specific format of the output together and guys these are the mistake that you should avoid while using chat gpt and guys that is it for this video so if you like the video don't forget to leave a like drop a comments if you have any doubts regarding it and also don't forget to subscribe b10x and i'll see you in the next video until then do remember that we have an ai tools workshop that is just available for 9 rupees and i'll see you in the next video bye bye